All right, so when it comes to sales, I know it's um, dangerous to generalize. I've, I've got a sales guy sitting next to me right now, but they're a driven bunch helping their clients succeed in meeting their targets and uncovering new opportunities in a competitive and fast-paced market. But many don't find that procedures and administration come naturally to them. The typical salesperson, driven by these requirements, doesn't always think of sharing their knowledge about their activities. This is why organizations have CRM systems in place, because these CRM systems provide structure around all the unstructured thoughts and activities that the sales guys do. The structure makes it easy for everyone else in the business to keep track of what, um, what they've been involved with. But CRM isn't designed for documents, and it's definitely not designed for um, collaboration. So where do these belong? In this example, we're going to look at collaborating on a proposal. Proposals are one in part with a quick turnaround and accurate compelling tenders and proposals. However, these don't write themselves. The sales staff are responsible for coordinating who's involved, as these documents are almost always a group effort. People from across the business, they come together to share knowledge, contribute content, QA responses, cost efforts and products, and review legals. Sales could use a, a SharePoint site, just like we saw uh, in the marketing uh, example a moment ago. But to spice things up, let's look at a more modern way to work. And this is something that uh, the team here at, at PA have been using recently, Pete. So uh, it's, yeah, it's a good, good example. Let, let's get into it. Okay, so Microsoft's come out with this neat tool for working in groups, whether that group happens to be a, a, a temporary, like a, a tender or a proposal, like we're going to look at now, or if it's more long-term, just like a, a business department, something that, that never really ends. Um, it stands, this tool stands on the shoulders of SharePoint and it pulls together all the tools in Office 365 that you use quite regularly. It pulls it all into one simple interface. This tool is called Teams. Okay, so we can see on the left hand side the different teams that I'm part of. Um, with a click I can see who's part, who, who's a member of this particular team and I can see what the team is working on. These are referred to as channels. So the XT1000 is the one I'm interested in. I'm going to hit favorite, so it pops up here on the left for me. The first thing I see when I enter a channel is the chat. Now, um, the chat's really important. As we said before, it's an always searchable medium. Um, it, it lasts for the, the, the length the lifetime of this channel. So if someone's brought on board to help out with this, they can scroll back through and, and um, you know, get up to speed quite easily. And I can see some neat things in here. We can see that uh, it looks like Ben's online. He's got a green tick, so I know that he's there and can engage in conversation. Um, and I can see down the bottom, we've got some neat little things down here as well that uh, I can launch straight into maybe a Skype video straight from within the Teams app. So I'm not having to go to these other interfaces that I know I've got at my disposal. It's all sort of built in here. Yeah. So they've, they've put all these tools at your fingertips in this one interface. So just to uh, to flick over the tabs here, we've got tiles, tasks, and OneNote. So files. Sorry, files. <laughs> um, they're skipping to tasks too quickly. So I can I can open up uh, a file in line. And this is uh, kind of what we expect from Microsoft now. It just should pop up. And that this is just a uh, document, a SharePoint document library in the background, Pete, that's pulling that, housing those files? That's right. It's, it's built on the, um, the shoulders of, of uh, SharePoint. Um, I can start chats about these, uh, about these files in line. You'll see them pop up uh, next to the document, and you'll also see those chats uh, pop up in the, in the conversation thread here. So if I'd mentioned something about that document or um, said, hey, Linda, can you come and uh, QA page number three? Uh, that would pop up here as a um, as a discussion thread. As something to talk about. One of the challenges that I find with with responding to RFPs, particularly large ones, is we've got so many different people we've got to coordinate. And it's hard to know or, or make sure that everyone you know activates their contributions in a timely manner. How how do we manage something like that in here? 
Well, Twan is another t uh, tool in the um, Office 365 toolbox. And that's what we're using here with tasks. You can see that the team set up different buckets. We've got text specs, logos and images, legal. Uh, I can move around these tasks just by dragging and dropping. I can have a look at a task and see, um, see some details about it. Uh, here's some, some, uh, some ch a checklist for this particular task. I can see it's flagged as urgent. And we can check off one of those task lists if we need to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I can see nothing here is complete as of yet, but they're, um, they're all in progress. Up the top with the tabs, you can add in more tabs to other, uh, other areas. Those could be individual files like an Excel or a Word, Word document, or Planner as we've seen is an, uh, another system we could hook in, or you could use uh, one of the more integrated pieces in Office 365 like Power BI and, and put in a dashboard there to, to, to keep track of things. And, you know, some people said they were using other cloud tools today, you know, and, and we can see some things down there like Zendesk or even Trello or, or others that we can add that don't necessarily have to be Microsoft tools. There's some nice integration. Yeah, that's right. Um, right, so what I like about Teams is it gives you this uh, concise list of what you're working on and the, the ability to add value immediately. You don't have to worry about copies and versions of files and it's easy to keep track of what everyone's working on. Okay, so that's it from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed these examples. What you use is going to be up to you. But it's about making sure that you achieve more without investing months and months into changing what you do. Take advantage of what Microsoft gives you and uh, look for the quick wins and have fun being a, a modern team worker.